Hi, this is Dave Yankoviak from liftdevelopment.com, and I'm a big Facebook user. I use both a personal profile and a few different uh, pages that I manage, and one of those pages is the uh, the Lift Development page. And there's, there's one thing I've seen quite a bit on Facebook is when um, a person has a profile set up and they list their employer, but the employer that they list doesn't match up with an actual uh, page on Facebook, even, their, even though their employer might have a page. So I'm going to show you how to hook those two up. And it requires a little bit of uh, a tweaking, so don't get too scared. It's not too bad. But the first thing you're going to need is Firefox or Chrome. So if you're using Internet Explorer or Safari, this isn't going to work. So you need to use uh, Safari or you need to use Firefox or Chrome. So get one of those browsers. Then the next thing you're going to need is the, uh, the web developer add-on or plug-in. Uh, it only works with those two browsers. I'm using Firefox here. So I will post a link to that, but if you just Google web developer extension for Firefox, um, you'll get to this page. <clears throat> and they'll give you two options. Uh, you can download for Firefox or Chrome. So just download one of those and get it installed. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is browse to your Facebook page for the actual um, business. So for me, you know, I'm employed by myself, but my company is Lyft Development LLC. So here's my page, but say you work for Google or Target. Uh, browse to their main page on Facebook and then do this exact thing. So once you're on the page, what you're going to need to get is the ID for this profile or for this page. Um, and just a quick, easy way to do that is to click on the profile picture, and it'll open up the profile pictures page for that, that uh, organization. And what you'll do, if you go up to the, to the URL, you'll see one of the last uh, items in the URL is the ID equals, and then there, there's a number after that. Um, so what you need to do is just copy that number. So for me, it's 912021380094. So just copy that. And then what you will want to do is browse to your actual profile page, your personal page. So for me, here is my page and pictures of my kids and all that fun stuff. But um, what you'll do is just click Edit Profile go to your education and work and so for, for me you'll see I've already got this linked up but I'm going to show you how I did that um, what you'll do is click edit next to that organization and now here's where it gets a little tricky but just trust me this is gonna work um, go up you, you installed the web developer extension so go to forms display form details and you're gonna get all this weird code stuff all over your page um, but all you need to do if you scroll down you'll see like for me it, it, there's an input tag it says input name equals employer underscore ID I've already got the one that I just copied um, in that space but chances are yours is gonna be a different number than the number that you that you just copied but what you'll do is you'll just paste in that ID that you copied out of that URL into that employer ID space. Um, and that's all you're going to have to do. Then you just click Save Changes. And it'll save it. It's, your, your page is going to look all messed up. Just go up to Forms and uncheck Display Form Details. But it should pull in the logo and it should link your uh, uh, profile you know to your page so if I go to view my profile and I see my employer when I click that it's gonna bring me to that lift development LLC page uh, so that's how you do it you just grab the ID go in to edit your profile and then use that forms display form details when you're on that edit screen so go out there get your uh, get your employer link to the actual page on Facebook and uh, and good luck